welcome back to my channel. So today I have created a New Year's Eve party look. I hope you guys like it. If you do want to know how to recreate this look, please keep on watching. So I already did my eyebrows off camera. If you want to know how I did them, let's go check out my in-depth brow tutorial. So now I'm gonna prime my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Then to set that, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyes Palette and a flat top brush. I'm taking Chickadee by Makeup Geek and my Morphe M441 brush. I'm just going to be using this as my transition shade. I'm just doing back and forward motions on my crease. I'm going in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palette and I'm taking this shade here. And I'm just going over the top of that colour that I've just used. Then I'm taking the Morphe 350M palette and my Morphe E13 brush and I'm going in with this shade here. And I'm just placing this colour over the previous colour just to brighten it up a little bit. Then I'm going in with the Magic Place palette by Juvius and I'm taking Nana and I'm just blending all these colours together. So I'm doing circle motions along the crease. With the Real Techniques base shadow brush And the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyes palette, I'm taking this shade here and I'm going to start deepening up the crease. You don't want to go too high on this because you might start looking like you've got panda eyes. It doesn't really matter too much if you go a bit lower and start going onto the lid because we are going to clean that up afterwards. It's also important that you don't go straight in with the black. Otherwise, it's not going to blend out too well. You might put too much on. Then I'm going back in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and the same reddish colour. And I'm just putting that over my crease again to try and blend that brown in. I'm going in with the Real Techniques Accent Brush, the black from the Kat Von D palette. I'm just very lightly going to start going over that crease. I'm taking the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush again and I'm mixing together these two browns and I'm just going over that black to try and blend it out. To carve out my crease, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Because I'm using glitter today, I'm going to be doing my eyeliner first. So I'm taking the Technique Skinny Liner, which is new and it's still in its packaging. I'm taking my Glitter Fix Gel by Stargazer and NYX Glitter in number 10. Postman was just out the door, and I think I know what this is. Oh my lord! Look how pretty it is. It is huge. 
at that compared to a normal Morphe palette. Like what? It's huge. This colour is literally screaming to me. Oh my gosh. That brown. Oh my. I'm so happy this has come. Right, back to my makeup. Does no one want me to film today? No? Cool. So now I'm going in with my Real Techniques Accent Brush and the black from the Kat Von D palette. And I've started to go on the outer corner and blend up. And then I'm going to go along the crease. Then I'm going in with the Ardell Demi Wispies, my Duo Eyelash Glue. And I like to squeeze a bit of the glue on a brush and put that over the lash. So whilst I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. So my camera cut out just before I started doing my face, so that's great. Now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Bronzer. I'm going in with my Milani Bronzer to bronze up my face even more. For blusher I'm going in with my MAC Pinch Me Blusher and an angled fluffy brush. For highlight I'm going in with Champagne Pop. By Becca. Now because we've got such a bold eye look I'm going in with just a nude so I'm taking my NYX soft matte nude in shade 4. And then to set all my face together, I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. So that is everything guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you like the look that I've created. Please like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next video.